So John, you got your blue water all hooked up, tricked out, and you're ready to go to the Bahamas. You're gonna go to the Abigails, which is a fabulous spot, but guess what? There's no real meat there, no burgers or no ribs. I love the wahoo, the dolphin, the tuna, the lobster, but after a while, I want some of that good American food. Cheeseburgers, I can't help you with, but the ribs, I can. I can give you some great ways to cook American baby back ribs to freeze, take to the Bahamas, and enjoy the best Bahamian surf and turf, grilled wahoo, and baby back ribs. I am the same way, and we have changed the locations. We're now at one of my favorite spots in all of Jupiter. This is the dive bar, and we're inside the prep kitchen, and who we have on the program is Paul Flanagan, and Paul is one of the owners of not only Dive Bar, but also Quarter Deck Restaurants, and you serve a lot of ribs, my friend. We also have an operating partner with us. This is Robert, and he John, runs Dive Bar. See you. And guys, whenever I cook ribs, they're not tender. They're tough. They're not very delicious, okay? I'm obviously doing something wrong, but Robert, could you show us what to do with ribs to make them tender, not like how I cook them where they're tough? Well, the first thing you want to start off with is a good American pork baby back rib. And we like to use the one and three quarter pound. Bigger is a little tougher, smaller is not as much meat. So that's why we like to use in between the one and three quarter pounds. Okay, is there anything I have to do to the rack of ribs before I cook them? Now, the first thing you want to do is pull this membrane right here. You want to pull this off the back of the rib. This is going to help your ribs be tender. Okay, I've never done that cooking. before. That, that's obviously So you want to make sure problems. you do that, absolutely. Okay. Now, do you marinate these ribs at all? We use our special marinade. For 45 minutes, we marinate the ribs. Somebody and at home, they, they don't have your proprietary marinade. What could they do? They can use just water and a little bit of liquid smoke. It's going to give it that smoky flavor in the ribs. How long would you marinate them for? 45 minutes, and then we move it to a pan. And we cook them side, side up is the way. The, so you don't do it meat down in the pan or bone down in the pan, it's vertical. Right, you don't want to do that because it wouldn't cook the ribs evenly. So you lay them all across on their side so the heat transfers evenly. In that pan, do you have to put in that marinade in it? You'd put about two inches of that marinade and you want to try to keep the ribs off of the liquid. Okay, do you have to cover the pan? And then tight seal, you, you have to have a tight seal on there. How long would you cook the ribs for? We cook our ribs for four hours and our ovens at 350 degrees. Okay. We want them to kind of be solid so we can take them either camping or over to the Bahamas. All right, what do you guys do? Now, what, you can't pull them out of the pan right when they're out of the oven because they would just all fall apart. So what you need to do is chill them so the fat becomes more of a solid and holds the meat to the bone. How long would you chill them for? You want to remove the liquid as you remove it from the oven. You want to remove all the liquid from the pan, then put it in the freezer for about an hour. Okay, Paul, I see we have some finished ribs that have been cooled off. What do you do when you're going over to the Bahamas to take these with you? These are uh, full baby back ribs, which I take to the Bahamas. I cut, I break these in half, make half racks, and I can stack three full racks, making six half racks into one baggie. I would take these, I would put them in the freezer, how many pounds I want, and freeze them rock hard. I pull them back out, I put them in my cooler or into my boat's freezer again, and they'll stay in a cooler frozen 8, 10, 12 hours before they even begin to thaw out. They're like ice. How, how long will they last in the, in the cooler? Uh, days, four or five days, really chilled, okay. yes, like, just like lunch meat. Now, Robert, when you get to your destination, maybe it's at a national park, or maybe it's camping, or maybe it's the Bahamas, like I'm going to be doing, uh, how do I cook them once I get that grill fired up? Well, you want to make sure the grill's nice and hot, and we begin the ribs meat down. And we don't sauce them yet, we just start the, the process of heating the ribs. You want to get that fat. Right, because they're, and they're already cooked, so you don't need to leave them on for a long time. But you just heat them up and then start to sauce them with your favorite sauce. And, and how many pounds of these ribs do you guys kind of deal with? It's hard to say, John, because we don't buy them by the pound. We buy them by the container full. The containers that you see on the railroad cars, we buy multiples of those a year. So over the last 30 years, millions of pounds. Unbelievable. Well, thank you so much. I'm getting hungry. I think it's time for a break.